Hey everyone, it's Matt from Pixelate here and I hope you guys are having an amazing week. After the leaks for the two brand new kid packs that we are expecting, of course, The Sims team has officially announced it and many simmers are of course not surprised because we saw it coming. At this point, are these leaks really accidental? I'm thinking all these leaks are intentional, 100% at this point. I feel like they just want to get the community talking and you know build up some hype for when they do decide to announce it. So we now have high quality screenshots of these kits in action whereas before the screenshots were kind of low quality. I talked about them previously in a video I uploaded a few days back. I absolutely love the color palette for this brand new pastel pop kit. Obsessed with the color choices but honestly I'm not the biggest fan of the designs for some of the objects. I don't know I just don't think it's my taste and I know not everyone is going to agree with me but just the style of the furniture and the way that it's shaped it's just really like blocky does that make sense I don't know the furnishings just seem a little bit bloated to me especially some of the pieces on the wall but again that's just my personal preference I love the colors I love the wallpapers I talked about that in the last video but the style of the furniture I don't think it's my cup of tea and I definitely don't see myself using it in my builds. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Of course, The Sims tweets, if people asked what I do for a living, I could say woohooing the Grim Reaper and it wouldn't be a lie. Longtime simmer Plumbella led our developers and art directors on the theme and items for the upcoming The Sims 4 Pastel Pop Kit. And it looks like they actually have a blog post on this as well. So let's dive straight into that. Jesse McNamara, widely known as Plumbella Excel, when it comes to exploring the endless possibilities within The Sims. Whether they are redesigning an entire world or creating hilarious and in-depth reviews, Plumbella has built a loyal community of simmers who revel in watching them delve into every chaotic facet The Sims has to offer. For the upcoming kit, The Sims 4 Pastel Pop, we've collaborated with Plumbella who advised our developers and art directors throughout the project. They suggested the theme as well as items that would fit nicely into the kit's overall aesthetic. The new Pastel Pop Kit introduces a soft pastel color palette to the game, along with fun, unique patterns of groovy shapes. This kit will offer lots of new furniture, mirrors, decorative tchotchkes, shelves, and desk items, designed in an aesthetic Plumbella wishes they could decorate their home with, IRL. Again, I absolutely love the color palette with this. I'm obsessed with those wallpapers, but it's for sure the groovy shapes that I'm just not a fan of. It's really hard for me to pick which of the two kits I see as my favorite right now just because I do prefer the aesthetic and colors, of course, of the pastel pop kit, but the other kit with the everyday clutter items, I just absolutely love all of that stuff that's coming. Not the biggest builder and decorator anymore, but still, I would absolutely use that kit, though I don't plan on purchasing either, as I am going to continue not giving EA any more money in purchasing packs until something major happens with The Sims 4 and a lot of these game breaking bugs and issues are fixed. But out of the two kits that we've seen so far, which is your favorite and do you have plans on purchasing either? As part of our ongoing You Make The Sims series, we're continuing to spotlight creators across the world who inspire us and the game we make. We sat down with Plumbella to discuss their involvement with the creation process, their inspiration behind the aesthetic, and their favorite pieces from the kit. Where did you get the inspiration for the Avant basic theme? There are so many design styles I'm in love with, but a lot of these had already been covered so far in The Sims 4, for example. So many objects already give off a I'm being haunted aesthetic, or Mr. Darcy would definitely sit on that chair, vibe, so I decided to focus on a design style that's quite recent, Avant basic. The juxtaposition of modern but retro and pastel but colorful aspect of the design is so cool and I tried to include objects I could see simmers wanting in their own home. What was your favorite part of the creation process? My favorite part of the process was definitely watching all of the designs come to life. I've dabbled in most things relating to The Sims, from creating stories on The Sims 2, exchange to recoloring objects in The Sims 4, but designing objects, turning them into meshes and seeing them work in game is an aspect I've not had the opportunity to get into before. How do you see Simmers using this kit? 
What kind of builds do you envision them creating? I really miss the tiny home era of The Sims community, so I really hope to see people make studio apartments or tiny homes with all of the objects. There's a lot of personality and variety in the swatches, so I'm excited to see how people choose to style them and if they'll style the objects together or separately with other packs. That's a take that I can absolutely agree with though. I can 100% see all of this stuff working very well for tiny homes. And that itself is definitely a very, very underrated pack. I really do miss stuff packs. It's been a long time since we've had one, but tiny living is probably up there as one of my favorites. I love the designs of the objects that come with that pack as well as the swatches. I really hope that sometime in the future the Sims team does bring back stuff packs. It's a really good bang for your buck and you do get functional items whereas most of the time with kits you are not really getting too much new functionality. For example with this kit there is some functionality as we're getting beds, desks, and chairs etc but those are just recycled animations that we have with other objects. Who knows what's gonna come in the future, but I can only dream. What is your favorite item from this new kit? Every time I think of this question I come up with a new answer because I feel like we've worked on this pack together for so long that every item is like my child and I can't pick a favorite. For practicality purposes, I think the corkboard is absolutely fantastic, I'm big on personal meaning and nostalgia in my gameplay and I'm really excited to give Simmers a new place to store postcards. From a purely aesthetic angle, the new computer resting on a mini easel speaks to me. Perhaps I do have a favorite child, and it's that one. When you first sat down to collaborate with the Sims team on this kit, what were the items you wanted brought into the game the most? How do you think they'll enhance a Simmers building experience? I knew that whatever theme I landed on for this pack it was a requirement to have a new wallpaper and flooring type because those are the things that can really define a room. I think we've definitely brought something new to the game with the two-tone paint and I love how the light lands on the carpet during the day. What other packs do you see this kit pairing well with? High school years and Discover University, for sure. The style of Avant Basic definitely caters towards a younger generation, so I can see it really pairing well with any packs that fit in with that. What type of sim would use these build slash buy items? What traits would they have? Give us a little background story. During the development of this pack, I wanted to make it a priority to have a wide variety of objects and for each object to have a full range of swatches so they could be used in a variety of contexts without being limited to just one type of sim or room. As I was thinking of objects to include, I tried to imagine a sim who is just starting to make their way in life and has moved into a studio. You're a very successful sims creator, can you tell you the most interesting parts of this career? Undoubtedly the most interesting part is that if people asked what I do for a living, I could say woohooing the Grim Reaper and it wouldn't be a lie. I've been playing The Sims since the year 2000 when it first came out, and I wish I could tell the younger version me, who was really quite odd, didn't fit in, and sought solace in The Sims franchise, that not only do we get to play our favorite game every day, there's an entire community of people who actually like that you're quite odd and don't fit in. Again, I've mentioned this before and I'm gonna mention it again, I do think it's so amazing how The Sims team continues to collaborate with creators, you know, for ideas and to just bring new things to the game and get the community excited. I love that. They have definitely held true on that promise to continue to keep the community involved, so happy to see that happening. Now to finish things up. It's also very interesting that no matter what stage of life I've been at, struggling through secondary school, graduating from university, or even just doing nothing for weeks on end, The Sims has been a constant in my life. I remember drawing a picture to celebrate the release of The Sims 2, and it's so bizarre to think that now I'm writing these questions to celebrate the release of my own content for The Sims. The Sims 4 Pastel Pop Kit is available November 10, 2022 for The Sims 4 on PC via EA App, Mac via Origin, and Steam, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One systems. This is coming soon, guys. This is releasing worldwide for everyone all platforms November 10th. That is exactly one week from today. So next Thursday, this is going to be out for everyone. And I'm assuming that this is the first kit because I don't think there was a release date for 
the other one yet. Was there? That's probably going to be a separate one for a separate time, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is going to come out on the same day. I have noticed a trend with that, with how they release the kits. They normally like to just release a bunch of them together at the same time. So let me know down below what you guys think of this collaboration, what you think of this kit, and if it's up your alley or not. I love you so much. Thanks for watching. So long and happy simming. Want to get to know me more? I'm sharing a more personal look into my life behind the scenes over on Patreon. You'll have access to lifestyle videos, mukbangs, and all sorts of other fun vlogs, as well as have your name featured at the end of videos like the one you just finished watching as my way of saying thank you for supporting me a little extra. If you aren't already over there, I hope to see you soon.